guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing some cooking, cleaning, organizing, and maybe even a DIY. So let's get straight into today's video. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do just real quickly is take some of our Easter decor down. I never showed us putting this up, but we've just been stuck in the house aboard. So about two days before Easter, I went ahead and grabbed our old Easter tub down from the attic and let Savannah decorate her side of the house. And she had so much fun. So it didn't stay up long, but it was just nice to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab all those items and then go out and grab the tub. But first I wanted to let you know that this is a collab with Lindsay Life and Style. Oh my goodness, I have been watching her for so long even before I had my own channel or even thought about having my own channel she is amazing and you guys will love her you'll love her style she's just so happy and cheery so definitely head on over and watch her video after watching mine today and subscribe because you won't want to miss her videos I'll have her link down below in my description box now I have that tub so I'm gonna go ahead and put all my decor in it so we can put it back up in the attic Okay, since being quarantined, I don't know what's going on with my laundry. You would think we were going somewhere, but it has just gotten out of control. I used to do all of our laundry together, but now I have to do like my load, Chase's load, and then Savannah's load. I don't know where we're going or why we're wearing so many clothes, but it has been insane lately. Let me know if you guys are the same way at your house. Um, I also wanted to introduce myself for anybody that's coming over from Lindsay's channel. My name is Ashley. I'm married to my husband, Chase. We met in seventh grade. We have one daughter. Her name's Savannah, and she's 10 years old, and she's obsessed with American Girl dolls. Um, we would love to have you just join our family on here. We have this cleaning channel, and then we also have a vlog channel. We're doing a lot of home updates on both of those, so I'll have both of my links down below in my description box if you want to check them out. Out, but I really appreciate you coming over and watching today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Along with keeping up with just a normal day-to-day -day laundry like our clothes, I've been trying to keep up on all of our bedding and I'm good about doing that weekly. It's more like blankets around the house. So I've been washing those as often as I can too. So these were just some that I had in my living room basket. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fold those back up and put them back away. If you are new here and have any questions about my house, I do have a lot of home tours posted. I have a recent one that's like a rustic glam home tour. I talk about where I bought everything, where I've made it. I love garage sales, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. I love to find decor cheap or make my own. So I have lots of DIY videos, a lot of home cleaning videos. I'm very less is more and everything needs a home. So if that's how you're wanting to run your house, I'd love to have you follow just all my cleaning videos over here. Now I'm headed back into my laundry room. Um, I like to keep some of my paper towels down below on display and we had been going through them. Um, the ones up top I leave in plastic just so they don't get too dusty. But then once I move them down on the shelf, I go ahead and open them up so they look more pretty and like decor up there. Okay, and if you're new here, you're gonna learn real quickly, I despise cooking. I do not enjoy it. My husband doesn't enjoy it. I don't like doing dishes. So we love to eat out um, and that's kind of been compromised lately. Um, but when I do share a recipe with you guys, it is super easy and quick because that's the only way I know how to cook. Now, if you have been around here for a while, you guys have probably seen this recipe, but it's just my go-to one and it was just a good, Reminder for you guys that do know it if you're looking for a new recipe now that you're stuck at home. So this is super simple. It's not a crock pot meal. I was gonna make one of those with you like Lindsay, but I didn't have any of the ingredients and I obviously can't just run into the store and pick it up like normal. So you're gonna need a glass pan for this and then I like to just spray Pam in it so nothing sticks to it. 
And then the next thing you're gonna need is a can of green beans. You could use corn or any vegetable you like. I like these French style green beans for this recipe. Um, I like to go ahead and drain it just so there's no juices in there and then I'll line it down in the pan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some chicken breast. You can take chicken tenderloins. I went ahead and cut the breast into strips just cause it fits in there a little bit easier, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes I feel like if you cut it up smaller, it does cook a little bit faster. So that's another reason I do it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut up some potatoes. You can use any potato you like. This is just what I had on hand since we're kind of stuck inside. Um, the reason I'm preparing this now is as the day goes on, I get tired and I don't like to cook anyways but especially when I'm tired so if I have a meal like this I'll prep it around lunchtime and you'll see me just keep it in the refrigerator later then when it's time to cook it all I have to do is preheat the oven and stick it in and I feel like I'm more likely to cook that way so if you have a hard time cooking definitely try that out and see if it works for you As you can see, I'm just kind of throwing all the potatoes on top. I've learned the smaller you cut the potatoes to, the faster they cook, so they're soft and not hard when you go to eat it. So that's another little tip with this um, recipe just to be careful with. And then you're gonna need this Italian dressing, salad dressing, and it's like a dry mix. This makes your food taste so much better. I even put this just with green beans, like when I'm heating them up on the stove. You will never be able to eat normal green beans again. It is so good, so I definitely suggest you just keeping some of this on hand in your pantry. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Now you're just gonna top it with some butter. Um, the recipe calls to like melt it and pour it on there, but I normally just take some scoops or globs and put it throughout because this is gonna be going in my refrigerator until this evening and it's going to melt anyways because you're gonna be sticking it in the oven for an hour. Um, so all you do, you don't have to get this perfect. I feel like this meal's great because if you have a large family, you can make more of it. If it's just like a single family, you can just make it for you and your husband or just you. It's kind of just create it as much as you need and you cannot mess it up once you're done with that go ahead and cover it with foil and you're gonna leave it that way when you put it in your oven and you're gonna cook it for an hour on 350 but I'm not ready for that yet so I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it in my refrigerator you could do this the night before you could do this the afternoon before just whatever works best for you but now I'm gonna go ahead and start tidying up my kitchen Just so you know, I'm gonna add a clip at the end of today's video so you can see how this meal turns out. It is so pleasing to the eye. It makes your house smell amazing. This is great if you're having company over or if you need to take um, a meal to somebody that's had a baby or sick. I know we can't really do that right now, but when the world opens back up, this is just a great meal you can take to somebody. You even can take it uncooked, so all they have to do is throw it into their oven. So like I said, the after is gonna be at the end of this video, so definitely don't click off yet. I still have lots more cleaning to do. I have a fun DIY that we're working on the outside of our house. So definitely stay tuned just a little bit longer. Anytime I'm finished dealing with like raw chicken, I like to go ahead and scrub out my sink and I used an antibacterial. I actually found it at the store. Um, it was, you know, about three weeks ago, but I was so excited when I found that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my sink cleaned out and then I'm gonna work on the rest of my kitchen. Take control of your own life. 
Okay, now I wanna go ahead and antibacterial like all my countertops from the chicken and just germs and sickness. Um, I'm using my Jaws cleaner. This video is not sponsored, but if you guys are having a hard time finding antibacterial or disinfectant, I wanted to let you guys know that there's a still available. So I have that link and coupon code down below in my description box. But I know every time I say that, I get so many people thanking me because they can't find it. So I just keep saying that in all my videos. So if you're sick of hearing me say it, sorry. While that sits, it has to sit about 10 minutes for it to work. I'm gonna go ahead and organize the cabinet underneath my sink. As you can see, it was clearly a disaster. Um, I feel like I'm in this cabinet so much, I have to organize it often. I try to put things back where they belong, but if Chase uses it or Savannah, it gets put back in a different spot or it tips over. So I'm just gonna work on this real quickly. Yeah, you keep thinking it's right to keep a distance is like Okay, and here is the final look of how it turned out. It normally takes me less than five or 10 minutes to get a space back to normal. And that's the way I like to keep my house. I don't let it get overwhelmed that it takes me like an hour to get it clean. Just taking out a few dirty rags and then putting the items back where they belong. It is nice and perfect and looks so much better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these dirty rags and throw them in my laundry room so I can do more laundry later. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and finish tidying up my kitchen. I've been holding my breath But it's hard when I am running Back to Okay, by this point, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a clean cloth and go ahead and start wiping down my countertops. If you see that little panda on my canisters on my kitchen cabinet, it's just a little game we have going on. We've been doing it for quite a few months where whoever finds it will go and hide it somewhere else, and we're just always on the look around the house where the panda is. Um, it's one of those that it's like sticky, but it doesn't like mess anything up. I don't even know how to describe it, but we're constantly moving that thing everywhere in our our house and it's just become a game so it's been so much fun so if you guys are looking for something to do we started this before we were like quarantined but it's been so nice just to have that um, to look forward to during the day of like where is it who found it so it's just a little fun activity you guys can add to your day Back to you. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna work on, I had stuck all of our outdoor pillows inside. We had a really bad storm come through last night and we knew it was coming and it was gonna be really windy. So when I know it's coming, I just go ahead and grab all those pillows and any decor that might get blown over. We're in Oklahoma, so it's already windy anyways. And I just stuck these behind my sectional. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just take them out to my porch and put everything back where it belongs. So if you're new or haven't been following me lately, we have been doing a lot of updates to the outside of our house. We've been painting our trim black. We've been doing a lot of DIY projects and we have lots more. So like I mentioned, make sure you're following this channel and our vlog because I'm putting it up on both, just whatever video I'm filming next. But we have lots of projects we're working on right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of the pillows for the back porch. I had to stuck those in our garage. So you're gonna see me just chunk them out here and then I'll work on our back patio.
Okay, so this is what it looks like. It got really windy if it blew the sectional pillows. You can see one went to like the far corner of our yard. Those normally don't budge. So it must have gotten pretty windy that night. It also took like our little gutter um, water pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that back. And then I'm gonna start working on the pillows, just putting them back on the sectional. Um, I always get tons of questions about this when I show it. It was from Walmart and we bought it last year and it was actually like the floor model. We bought it at the end of the season and got a really good deal on it. So if you need something like that, wait till the end of the year because they start clearancing out um, because they don't need it on their showroom floor anymore. So that's how we got this one. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the pillows back. After that, um, I'd recently done a DIY. If you wanna know how I did this sign, it is super easy. Then you're even thinking this is just like a raw sign that I painted completely black and put blessed on, but I have a video doing that and then we just hung it up outside. Okay, it's super shocking for me that it's at this point of the day and my bed's not made, but I had just been really busy and got distracted. I normally like wake up, get dressed, and then I go back in and make our bed, but I must have gotten distracted for the day. I think it's because I started doing our meal prepping for dinner, so my whole routine just kind of got off. But I'm gonna go ahead and make our bed real quickly. If you're new, I always get questions about like our bed frame. It is super affordable. It's on Amazon. I have it in my Amazon store. Um, I have a lot of the products that I buy and love in there and that link is down below in my description box if you want to check out any of those things in my store. Okay, now I'm gonna vacuum our bar stools real quickly. They look a little rough, and then as soon as I vacuum, they like fluff back up. I actually DIY'd these because I couldn't find any bar stools that I liked that were affordable. So I picked these up at, at home, but they had like green velvet cushions, and so I just went to Hobby Lobby and bought the fabric and reupholstered them myself. I have a whole video showing me doing it. If you wanna watch it, it's called Adding Gold and it was all the ways I added gold to our house and most of it was all DIY, super cheap with spray paint. So you can definitely go back and watch that as well. Now I'm gonna work on my sofa and go ahead and give it a good vacuum since I already had my Dyson Hell Held vacuum out. Um, we do have a puppy that's a golden doodle, but he's a pretty big and he is losing his puppy coat right now. So we have a lot of white fur everywhere and I love to wear solid black, so it just doesn't mix. So I've been doing a lot of vacuuming lately. Wasting all your thoughts just to criticize, but there are plenty more ways to think. I'm not pretending, I'm more like this a game for the rain. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do before we head outside and start doing our DIY project is a vacuum our floors. Um, I like to just keep these nice and fresh. I don't know what it is, but just a clean vacuum floor just makes me feel so much better. So I'm gonna get these done and then we're gonna be heading out to the garage. Okay, I'm wanting to make some planters for the outside. If you've been following me, I had mentioned this. We need to start adding our wood now that we have our house painted black and white. So we went and picked up some wood, some of these foam brushes. We also got some drywall screws that you'll see here. And then I also picked up some stain and polyurethane so we can make the wood boxes ourselves. They were super pricey everywhere I wanted to order them. So Chase just said he'd make them for me. These are the plants I'm gonna use. I already have a set of these and they look so realistic outside. Um, I got them off Amazon and they're a great deal. So those are in my store as well. So the first thing we're gonna start doing is cutting the wood and I'll have all these measurements down below in my description box if you decide to make something like this. Woman, 
Okay, we're making two very grand planters for our front garage. So here's all the pieces that Chase cut in order to build them. Um, now he's just gonna basically start making a square and this is how it is right here. It's a box and on one of those, he's gonna have to put like a bottom on so it has a base. So we went ahead and left some gap in those. You might notice later on that way, if it rains, the water can actually drain through. And then we're gonna go four high. So most of them do three high, like three boxes high. We decided to do four because I really wanna make a statement with the wood. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and stack those on top of each other. And then we're gonna show you how we secure them. It's gonna be like a rod on the inside, but here is how it looks. They are very grand and very large, but that's exactly what I wanted. Um, here's what I meant by he's gonna secure it in. So that's gonna be on the inside of the box and that's what keeps them from not falling over. I'm tired of this and I wanna tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me. Now he's going to start adding a trim just to make them look nicer. You definitely don't have to do this step if you're on a budget and don't want to add this into your cost. Um, it was very stable without this, but this is just to make it just a little bit nicer. Um, and I think they turned out beautifully. I was so thankful that he made these for me. It was actually late at that point. So when you see this clip, it's actually the next day. And I'm going to go ahead and work on staining them. Um, we had bought the stain new, so I'm going to go ahead and test it just on a scrap piece of wood to make sure I like it before I stain the whole box. Our goal was to match our front door and it actually turned out perfectly. I was so excited. Um, we bought a few stains and this was finally the winner. So I'm glad we finally um, figured out what color it was because I love the stain of our front door. But I guess I'm waiting around for something real. I'm going crazy. Like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. Okay, now I'm going to start staining them and I will say I normally put down a sheet. I just completely forgot. I was so excited to finally start staining them. I wanted to do it last night, but it was just so dark in here. I wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing. And then I also normally wear gloves, but I'm trying to preserve the very few that we have for when Chase has to go in and get groceries or get us something from the store. So I went ahead and just took one for the team and did it with bare hands. Um, it did fine. My hands didn't stain very much. I just washed them with Dawn a few times and they were good to go. Um, in these little cracks, I went ahead and took a small paintbrush just to kind of get in there. You could stain your wood before, but like I mentioned, we had gotten the wrong stain or the wrong color. Um, so we just wait and did it afterwards and it still worked out fine. We are super happy with how they turned out. Um, I went ahead and sped this one up. This was the second planter and I'll show you guys at the very end how they turned out. Breathless, breathless. Okay, now we're gonna start the cleanup of the garage area. Anytime you're doing a project, especially if you're cutting wood, it is going to get so dirty. We had so much sawdust all over our garage and we had to get it cleaned up so that we can move our cars back in. I don't know, it just felt so satisfying that I wanted to go ahead and film it for you guys. For Chase's work table, we went ahead and just grabbed the shop vac. If you don't have one of these, I highly suggest you getting one. We have like a large one, but they even make smaller, tinier ones. We used to have one even when we lived in an apartment. They're really great for vacuuming out your car, um, stuff in the garage, they can do liquids. So I'll put a few of those in my Amazon store and the one we currently have, but it just picks up really, really well. Thank you. 
So this table is really nice. If you do woodworking or anything like that, it's a great gift to your boyfriend or husband because it's collapsible. I actually filmed Chase taking it down so you could see how simple and easy it was. You just like pop in two of those buttons and it literally folds up just like that. Um, I'll have him link it for you just because it's really great if you're gonna be doing a lot of projects. And then here is how they're looking. I did not get to finish them up in this video since it's a collab. I've gotta get this over to Lindsay. But if you watch my next videos, I'll be showing you how I seal them and how we plant the plants and then how they look on the outside. So definitely make sure you're following both channels so you can see the after of these. Okay, and here is how dinner turned out. It was amazing. It always looks amazing. It tastes delicious, and we always have so many leftovers. So if you guys try this out, definitely let me know. I always love hearing when you guys use these recipes, um, but it was so good. It's one of Savannah's favorites. She's a super picky eater, but she will always eat this meal, which is a win for any mom. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. I do lots of cleaning motivation. We have lots of home projects coming up. We also have a vlog channel and I'll leave that link down below in my description box if you wanna check that out as well. And don't forget to head on over to Lindsay's channel. I promise you, you guys are gonna love her. And if you guys subscribe, definitely let her know I sent you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.